Building a small form factor PC can lead to a lot of frustration when trying to find the right cooling solution. For AMD's new Ryzen APUs, Noctua may have exactly what you're looking for in a very compact package. What's up guys, Jeff here once again for Modders Inc. Today we're going to be taking a look at Noctua's new NHL9A AM4 low profile heatsink. Built specifically for AMD's AM4 socket, hence the name, this diminutive little cooler has just a 114 by 92 millimeter footprint and stands at only 37 millimeters tall with the included Noctua NF A9X 14 PWM fan. That 92 millimeter fan has a max speed of 2500 RPM yet generates only 23.6 decibels. More on that later. Now normally I'm not a fan of unboxings, but opening this package up reveals Noctua's classic unboxing experience. The presentation makes an already nice product feel that much more premium. In the box we've got a backplate with four mounting screws, longer screws for a fan should you want to replace it with something thicker, a fan voltage reducer for even quieter operation, and a syringe of NTH1 thermal compound. Today's test bench is going to be a Ryzen 5 2400G APU on an MSI B350M Pro VH Plus inside the Computer Upgrade King Axiom TS Mini PC. If you want to see a full review of this system, you can click the card right up here. We'll be comparing the Noctua NH-L9A against the stock AMD Wraith Stealth Cooler that comes with the Ryzen 5 APU, both at stock 3.5 GHz and a 3.95 overclock at 1.3875 volts. Is it just me, or is there a lot of numbers in this review already? Insulation of the Noctua does require access to the back of the motherboard, as the backplate screws into the heatsink from behind. Keep this in mind if you're purchasing this as an upgrade, as you may need to remove your motherboard to install this cooler. Make sure your CPU is good and clean, then apply a rice size drop of the NTH1 thermal compound. Gently place the L9A onto the CPU. This is where things get a bit more difficult than your average heatsink install. While holding the heatsink in place, flip the motherboard over and gently set it down, balancing it on top of the heatsink. Line up the back plate and get the threads started on all four hold down screws. Then lightly tighten them up until snug, but do not over torque them. Flip the motherboard back over, then plug in the fan to a CPU fan header and reinstall the motherboard into your case. As you can see, the Noctua L9A is much shorter than the stock AMD Wraith Stealth, which stands at about 58 millimeters tall. At roughly 20 millimeters shorter, this will fit into nearly any case that's out there. In fact, the Noctua is just barely taller than the G-Skill memory that's installed in this system. Now, on to the testing results. I went for a basic test, running IDA64 stress test until temperature equalized on the CPU. I ran this with both coolers at both stock speeds and at a 3.95 GHz, 1.3875 volt overclock and a 24 degrees Celsius ambient temperature. The results were interesting, with both coolers performing roughly the same at stock speeds. This makes sense as both the Wraith Stealth and the Noctua L9A are rated for up to 65 watt TDP. Both idled at 31 degrees Celsius and had just a 1 degree Celsius difference under full load until temperatures equalized. However, one major difference between the two coolers was the noise level. The Wraith Stealth, while not terribly loud, was beginning to border on unpleasant here in my office. The Noctua, if it did spin up, was nearly an inaudible difference, marking this a significant upgrade just for my own sanity in this PC. Jumping up to that 3.95 GHz overclock, the Noctua starts to really differentiate itself from AMD's stock offering. The Wraith Stealth idle increased to 38 degrees Celsius and jumped up to 84 degrees under full synthetic load, with the fan ramping up to 100%. The Noctua didn't seem phased at all by the increased current, seeing just a 3 degrees Celsius increase at idle and matching its temperature under load, all while staying at the same whisper quiet 23 decibels. So what do I think of the Noctua L9A AM4? While I don't think it makes sense for every situation over the fairly impressive Wraith Stealth, do keep in mind inside this case we were dealing with pretty low airflow and both coolers kept the APU well under its thermal ceiling of 105 degrees Celsius. But for small form factor builds, or just to cut down on the noise of your PC, I would say the Noctua L9A is well worth the $40 asking price. It's small, it's quiet, and it does a very good job keeping this APU in check, even under a pretty decent overclock. But what do you think? Can you see yourself using this in your next mini ITX or home theater PC build? Let me know down in the comments. Make sure to like this video if you liked it, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Check out the link down in the video description to our Amazon store for anything you need for your next build or upgrade, including the Noctua L9A AM4 and the Ryzen 5 2400G. Thank you everyone for watching. As always, I'm Jeff, and I'll see you in the next video.
literally all I have to say is thank you all for watching. As always, I'm Jeff, and I will see you in the next video. Yet I have to sit here for five minutes and listen to this train roll by. Ugh.